Pizza Hut started in 1958 in Wichita, Kansas. And by 1986, they opened their 5,000th location. This is actually it right here in Dallas, Texas. In the 1980s, Pizza Hut was atop the pizza pyramid, earning over $2 billion in sales in the middle of the decade. But there was a new market that was taking shape and Pizza Hut wanted a slice. The Chicago Tribune reported that white collar workers saw their numbers rise by more than five and a half million, an increase of 24% during the 1980s. So Pizza Hut set out to find more ways to appeal to the new lunchtime crowds with new menu additions. The first of which you might still recognize. That's right, it's their 80s innovation, pan pizza. And the infamous lost dishes that soon followed. So to learn all about the pan pizza, as well as Pizza Hut 80s creations that we don't have around today, I'm gonna meet with a man who's seen it all. This is Bill Walsh, he is the franchisee. So how long have you been with Pizza Hut? I started in 1966 and I got paid 50 cents an hour and all the beer I could drink. That's a great job. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. What was it like in the early days? It was wild. They were opening a store a day. We really didn't have any problem except for New York. New and, York? Yeah. They opened up 10 pizza huts on Long Island, and they all failed because it was not a New York-style pizza. And that's where Pan Pizza came along years later. Is that still the most popular pizza? It is the most popular pizza. Before we get into the long lost Pizza Hut item that people have been craving for decades, we need to first take a pit stop at the story of Pan Pizza. They were thicker than New York style pizza and had ingredients added in a different order than deep dish pizza with the sauce first, then cheese. Pizza Hut added Pan Pizzas to their menu in 1980, nine years before any of their competitors. But it was 1983 when they introduced their game changer the personal pan pizza. Its commercials promised it would be ready in just five minutes in an effort to lure in the lunch crowd. New personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut. Ready in five minutes or your next one's free. We guarantee it. And it worked. It's been reported that the personal pan pizza bumped up their lunchtime business by 70%. So I'm gonna strap on my Marty McFly, Knack of the Future Shades. Here we are going to get an authentic personal pan pizza. Let's do it. There's that crunch of the cheese and the toppings and then that pillowy tear, like, so good. That browning on the crust mm -hmm. is what gives you a lot of the flavor and texture that you've mentioned. It fries in the pan as it moves through the oven. And that's what gives it the great feel on the bottom of the crust. The personal pan pizza was a hit with the 80s lunch crowd, but it wasn't the only way Pizza Hut won over midday diners. They had another dish that advertised the same brisk five minute prep time. A serving five minutes guaranteed. Kalitza Italian turnover at Pizza Hut. Look at that. The Kalitza has not been made since 1992. Because of that buttery exterior, how it almost fries the dough in that pan, the dough is as much a part of the flavor as it is the filling inside. The Kalitza is so good, it baffles me why it's not around anymore. Well, its demise was ultimately due to the challenge of cooking something so thick in time to be ready in five minutes. Though the Kalitza may be lost to history, Today, at least, it's brought some joy to this 80s kid. 